Hi guys, welcome back. Today I partnered with Macy's to bring you guys two of my favorite spring beauty trends. The first one is the no makeup makeup look. This is one of my favorite trends for spring because it's fresh and glowy. And the second one is a nude matte lip. This trend I've seen everywhere. You guys are gonna love both of these, so let's get into the looks. So to really perfect the no makeup makeup look, it's really all about prepping your skin. First thing I always do is eye cream. And the one that I'm using today is from Bare Minerals. It is the Brilliant Future Age Defense and Renew Eye Cream. Next up is priming your skin. Primers really depend on your skin type. I have quite oily skin. I'm going to use the Lancome Pro Pore Eraser Primer. This will make your skin look so smooth and your foundation will go on perfectly. If you tend to have a bit more dry skin, a really good primer is the Laura Mercier Hydrating Foundation Primer. This will make your foundation go on perfectly smooth. I'm just gonna throw it on anyways, <laughs> just to show you guys. You could also double up primers if you want. For this no makeup makeup look, I wanted to keep the skin as natural as possible. So I am using the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer and it comes in two different formulas, the oil free or the regular one. I'm gonna be using the oil free. This is a bit more of a full coverage concealer from Bobbi Brown, which is great for the under eye area. And I love their little concealer kits because it actually comes with a setting powder. And just using that right in the under eye area. The other way that I love to conceal is using a concealer highlighter. And this is one of my favorites. It's the Candle Glow Concealer Highlighter from Laura Mercier. And it has a little pump on it. So you just pump, pump, pump. So once you see that product coming out, you could also apply it under your eye area as you normally would apply a concealer, but because it is a highlighter as well, you could apply it in the areas of a highlighter. So once you're done with all the cream products on your face, it is time to set. And I am using the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, which is one of my favorites. And then for the under eyes, I'm going to be using the other side of the Bobbi Brown Concealer Kit. And a little tip for you guys, over powdering can really dull the skin. So I love to use a really small brush for powder. So first, just setting the concealer under your eyes. And then I like to apply the powder just in the areas where I tend to get really shiny. So usually just in the T-zone. I am using the Tarte Tartius Pro Glow Highlight and Contour Palette, which basically has every contour and color options you would want. This palette is amazing. And then for highlighting, there's so many different options. I love all of them, but I think I'm gonna play around maybe with Fire or Stunner. You want to focus on the top of your cheekbones so when you kind of turn your face it's gonna pick up that beautiful light and your skin is gonna look amazing but people are gonna think you have no makeup on that's a trick <laughs> I decided to go for a cream blush today because it's gonna be again really natural on the skin and this one is from Bobbi Brown and the color is powder pink and for cream blushes they can be a little bit tricky sometimes you could take a brush just tap it into the product, smile into the mirror, <laughs> and then just super gently kind of sweep it onto your cheeks and you're gonna get that beautiful flush and it's gonna look like it's coming from within rather than looking like makeup. For lips, I'm using the Bare Minerals Gloss in Snarky. I love this color, it's just like a natural pink, something really close to my natural lip color and has a beautiful sheen to it. And of course, we cannot forget about the brows. The brows are key to any makeup look. And today I'm using the Clinique Super Fine Liner for Brows. And to get a super natural brow look, I like to kind of just flick the pencil, which will make it look like you have just little hairs and it'll create a much fuller effect on your brows. And then the last step, just to give the eyes a little something, I'm using one of my favorite mascaras. It's the Clinique High Impact Curling Mascara. This is gonna give you tons of dark, dark lashes to really bring out your eyes. 
All the products that I mentioned today are gonna be in the description box below, so you make sure you guys check that out. And that is it, guys, for the no makeup makeup, and it's all about just fresh, beautiful, glowy skin. Now we're moving on to the second spring beauty trend, the nude matte lip. First up, I'm using the New Sticks Intense Lip and Cheek Pencil in the color Bell as my base to line and fill my lips. I love the texture of these pencils because even though they're matte, they still feel super creamy on the lips. And then I'm going over that with the NYX Lingerie Liquid Lipstick in Ruffle Trim. Don't be afraid to pair up different products together to get that perfect look that you want and play around with it. This nude matte lip is super hot right now. It's one of my favorites and you could pair it with a natural makeup look to also play up the no makeup makeup. Both these trends, the no makeup makeup and the new matte lips are perfect for spring and spring is just a time to kind of freshen up your makeup and really play around with it. So don't be afraid to try out new things and of course, all these products are available at Macy's.